Hi everyone, my name is Spencer Van Beck and I am the Student Organization and Leadership Assistant here in the Office of Student Activities at MSU Ed. My goal is to provide support to organizations like you so that you can better serve students on our campus. Today, we are going to talk about Dragon Central. Now, there are three main topics that we're going to cover today. One is going to talk about the Campus Link section and what it is. The second one is going to talk about how to update your organization's roster. And the third one is going to talk about how to create an event. So on your screen, you should see the website of Dragon Central. Now, this is the main cover page that will pop up once you sign in. Dragon Central is the website where you will go for all your org related information. To start off, we are going to find the campus link section since this is the first topic we're going to cover. This section is on the right hand side all the way at the bottom. Now within this section there are a lot of great resources. All of these links bring you to different websites. So if you ever need to find a different website, you always go to Dragon Central first and you can go to the link section to leave it. On top is the OSA Financial Forms and Resources link. This brings you to the Office of Student Activities awesome website. There are so many great resources, informational modules, and lots of other supports on this website. There are even policies that you as student organizations have to follow. The second one I want to talk about is the virtual EMS link. This, when you click on it, will bring you to EMS where you can book space in the CMU for all your org meetings. Now, there are a lot of other great links within this section. I will let you explore those on your own time so we can keep on going with this quick little training. Next, we're going to talk about how to update your roster. For this, you will need to go to a different side of Dragon Central. This will be the Manage side, or the Action Center. So when you need to update your roster, switch to this side, then you're going to scroll down to your organizations and click the organization that you want to edit. Today, I'm going to click on the um, Student Union and Activities page. Then you'll show up on a page like this. To keep going, you're going to click these three little bars up in the corner, and it'll bring this pop-out bar. Then you're going to click Roster. So this will show you all the people that are within your organization. Up on top, you'll have your primary contact, and then it will start in alphabetical order of all the members of your organization. To update their positions, you're going to click the blue little pencil on the right-hand side. You can then go through the list and select what you would like that person to fill. Once you have selected the position, you can click Save, and it should show up right under the Positions column next to the student's name. If there is a membership that you want to end because the student graduated or left the club, you can select the little box in front of their name and then click End Membership. Sometimes there might be a little notification in the pending section. This might be because somebody is pending in your organization and you have to allow them to join. So just be on the lookout for that. Finally, we're going to talk about how to create an event. So click on the three little bars again and go to the event section. Click the blue button that says create event. So this is where you can plug in all of the information for your event. You can put in the title, you can select a theme, you can type a long description so that students really know what your event is about. If you're co-hosting, you can put that org's name in there. And then we get to the logistics of the event. The starting time, the starting end, the starting date, the end date, and then the location as well. If you are scheduling your meetings, which you should be, you can put the same time and date if that is the same for all your meetings. And then you can um, make multiple submissions at one time so you don't have to do it one by one, which is a really great feature of Dragon Central. Finally, you can select some last minute touches and create your event. So that is our little training for today. I hope you got some great tips and tricks. Um, if you ever have any questions or just want to know more about Dragon Central, please swing by the Office of Student Activities. Thank you uh, for joining in tonight, and we'll see you soon. Bye, Dragons!